Plus this last, since season, last season wrap, this whole process, portal, winter, what's all that process been like for you? Crazy. Um, the season that we had, a lot of different controversy that we had at Michigan State, and uh, we made it through, I'm still here, but uh, just entering the portal, I wanted to go to the NFL. Um, and I feel like I had more to put on the table and more to put out for scouts. So I feel like hitting the portal was the best thing for me. And I wanted to be with the best O-line coach in the country. So I feel like he could develop me to get me into that next level. I felt like he has a track record. Um, and really, you know, just put my hand in the pile, get to work, and uh, better my craft. About when did you make that determination, the feedback of – maybe come back to college one more year, see what that was like, hit the portal. Probably after the last game, Penn State. Um, and then, too, with the portal, I was just just getting a lot of feedback, just talking to mentors, talking to um, – hearing from different scouts and stuff like that and my coaches. And I just felt like it was just the right thing for me to do to come back. Um, I had more on the table. How – who were some of those people that you kind of leaned on during that process just as far as as your – Regardless of what decision you make, there's going to be a ton of change. Just talking to my team, um, my, my family, um, some of my coaches, my mentors, guys who are really close to me, and uh, just praying about it. Um, really just talking to God and having a conversation with myself and him, and uh, just being real vulnerable and being honest with myself. What was that first conversation with Bill Beatonbo like? A blessing. Um, and I don't take it for granted because a lot of people wish they was in my shoes. Um, when you talk about online, you got to mention his name. So uh, that first conversation was uh, honestly speechless for him to uh, take a chance on me and give me opportunity. Um, I'm extremely blessed. Oklahoma and Beanbow not only have the great track record of offensive linemen, but he's done good work with transfers specifically. Is that something that kind of priced in that you yeah. did that too? Uh, looking at Walter Rouse, uh, looking at Tyler Guy, uh, Morris, just looking at some of these tackles and these guys coming in. Um, I feel like he's a good guy and he, and he can develop these guys and put them out in the next level and they excel at the next level too. So it's a, it's a blueprint, it's a plan, and you just got to follow it and Added up at the end. A lot of new faces. How, how easy has that been for you to kind of get hunkered in with the offensive line just because you have so it's, many? It's good. Just being uncomfortable. That's the main thing. Um, being uncomfortable and just learning from dudes. That's the main thing. I'm just trying to keep my head down, get to work, learn as much as I can from everybody. Um, and just have fun. That's the main thing. Just have fun and uh, be the best person that I can be. So you've come in, like, who's helped you? get up to speed with the mental stuff of what Beatonbo uh, wants on that. Troy, Troy Everett, um, Jacob Sexton, some of these some of these guys and these leaders have been helping me along the way. Um, GAs and the coaches been helping me and uh, just been asking questions. Um, but really everybody, I can learn from everybody, you know. So if I don't know something, I'll ask. Just talking with Josh, what, what's that freshman class been like of being able to – Get, get those guys. Of, yeah, uh, freshman class, they got some talent. Um, Josh Sosa, he's pretty good. He got some good size, and um, I'm excited to see what he do. Um, Isaiah Autry, he's a guy too. I'm excited to see him. Um, and BJ Brooks, these guys are up to speed, and I'm excited for them. They got some talent, um, and they work hard too. But uh, not only that, I feel like they're better, better people as well. You with the stand master so far? Oh, no, 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 no. I've been on time and everything, so uh, I'm good on that. I'm straight. Good with the lunges? I, I yeah. Sorry to Josh. Sounds yeah. like easy way to get uh, dinged over there, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm good with the lunches. Uh, I love everything here. Um, the treatments, uh, nutrition, recovery. i just been soaking all that up and uh, using it to my advantage. For, for you, obviously, you've got – experience big time college football this program making the transfer to the sec how important is has that experience that you've got playing all the big time ball at michigan state being able to translate that um the experience helps a lot just because I, i've seen certain looks i've seen different rushes i've seen different defenses but once again it's a whole new league so i'm still learning um i don't think you ever arrive especially at online it's always about constantly learning so for me I approach everything as if I don't know it and go in as I'm new, try to learn as much as I can and just keep getting better. Um, 
you never really arrived anywhere. So I don't really kind of, I mean, I use my experience to my advantage, but I feel I still feel like I'm behind because I got so much work to do. I know you want to compete every day, obviously, in the spring. But are there any other things that you're trying to mentally, I need to accomplish this, this or that, this spring is with the practices? Um, I want to accomplish the IQ of the game, um, my awareness, um, understanding coverages, defenses, and, and, and different looks, um, being a better student of the game, and improve my technique. That's the main thing, uh, become more flexible. It's a lot of things, but just attack everything one day at a time, be the best teammate I could be, um, better person off the field. and I'm just trying to contribute and add value to the team. That's, that's pretty much it.